Perfect. Welcome to Cameron Park, Waco. A massive park. So large, in fact, it just runs up and down this river, and if I were to try to walk up and down the entire thing, I'm not even sure if I could. <laughs> it's far. Like, I could keep walking from this point onwards and uh, reach Baylor University, which that's a pretty far distance to cover. But let's talk about things. I mean, you guys know I moved to Texas from Connecticut. Quite a big difference, quite a big change. It's hot. <laughs> it's supposed to get up to the hundreds soon, which will be the hottest temperature I've really ever been in. I mean, Connecticut gets up into the 90s occasionally, but the hundreds is like, that's unheard of. Charlotte is uh, having an interesting time as well. She's getting used to the heat. I've brought two water bottles with me for today. Um, I'm not sure how long we're going to be out because it is hot, especially with the sunlight. It's nice. I mean, in Texas, it's always pool weather. And considering my apartment has a pool, it's there's nothing better than when it's like, oh, it's unbearably hot, just jumping into a pool. And then at night, it's like a perfect 70 degrees. It's not like freezing cold or anything, and you can go out and just chill. It gets a little bit buggy, but that's to be expected when you go further south. It's not as bad as Costa Rica was. Oh, and Charlotte has decided to relieve herself. So one moment. All right, I've cleaned up after Charlotte because I'm not a sociopath. Always clean up after your dog. And wow, it is beautiful out, like really. Um, so yeah, moved to Texas, some things off the top of my mind. It is way cheaper to live down here. I mean, not even considering the fact that there's no uh, state income tax. You've got groceries are like way cheaper, way cheaper. Actually, the first time I went to HEB, which is like the big grocery chain down here, and I got my receipt, I was like absolutely amazed. I thought the numbers were wrong because it was like half of what I had expected for my first shopping trip because like I had to stock up the fridge and stuff. I had to buy basically everything and I was so surprised to see how cheap it was. Same thing with rent. Everything is just cheaper. And uh, they do say everything's bigger in Texas and they're kind of right. When you buy like anything, it is in quantities that are much larger. <laughs> Even when it comes to like apartments the square footage they don't mess around you're not gonna be offered like a 400 square foot tiny little closet down here uh, I don't think people put up with that people aren't gonna put up with the New York style but um, people are very kind it's very easy to just walk up to someone and start talking to them you don't they don't give you a weird look which up north Actually, people have just told me straight up kind of their life stories. Like, I'm not kidding. They're like, oh, hi. I've been to Texas for X years. I do X, Y, and Z. And it's like, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's it's pretty fun. I like it. Um, I've had a few experiences. I've been... I haven't been any of the major Texan cities yet. So, I want to go to Dallas um, and Austin at some point. Get that whole, you know, city experience. But I will say, I've been to a ranch. That was pretty awesome. A thousand acres of just nature and cows and goats and pigs and chickens. Pretty awesome. Um, and I've been around my city, so it's been pretty nice. Pretty good. Um, here right now we're in Waco, so Waco is very interesting. It's not really built up, but it kind of feels, still has kind of the same vibe as where I lived in Connecticut, honestly. Um, although the cost of living is much lower and the people are much more social. Uh, also, when I look at like the age of people, I feel like people are younger down here. Uh, I feel like the same is probably true in like Florida and California, but like 
up where I lived in Connecticut, it was just a lot of older retirees and just old people in general. Nothing against old people, but if you're in your 20s, like having people your age around you is a lot of fun because, you know, I've actually just at my apartment ran into just a bunch of college students at the pool and they're really nice. They invite you in and you just hang out. It's nice, good experience. Um, and I'm not even like really near a college. I'm pretty far away, so it's, it's good. It's a nice atmosphere. I like it. Uh, when it comes to like COVID, I don't think people even realize it exists. Um, nobody really talks about it. Everyone I've asked is vaccinated, so nobody really wears masks. It's, it's just chill. It's very chill. Honestly, people like to think of like the Texan, oh, and I mean, yeah, if you get a Texan mad, I'm sure they're quite scary, but like, I feel like this is like a super chill state. Like everyone seems laid back and just minding their own business. And I kind of like that. It's very relaxing. Ooh, but it is hot. Have I mentioned that? It's not humid. Like right now it's a very dry heat. Um, it's easy to breathe, but it's pretty hot. When I first got down here, I'm now running on a treadmill. And while I have actually been doing good I've set some records for myself I ran the distance of a 10k the other day which was my first time but doing it outside rather than an AC yeah that'll take a bit more work I'm just not acclimated to this kind of heat not yet and then uh, obviously I have a lot more time on my hands so I've been working on Valor been doing a lot of work on YouTube it's a lot of fun we got some Jesus candles down there. Very nice. Charlotte still doing pretty good. We're gonna stop for a water break in a moment. I know it's only been like 10 minutes, but I don't want to kill my dog. That would make me very sad. I think she's getting used to the heat, but like I'm still gonna be very careful because Charlotte's all I got down here. All right, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get a drink next to the alligator. There we go. Or is that a crocodile? I think that's an alligator. Ah, yes. American alligator, 1990. All right, Charlotte, are we ready to get water? I'll just drop the camera real quickly. So, uh, the, how will I drop this? Pretty good. That works. All right, Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte will actually drink out of my hand, which is quite convenient. I used to have a pop-up bowl for her, but she ate it. So anything flexible enough to be a pop-up bowl is also flexible enough for her to destroy. It's quite an issue. Whew. Yeah, it is, it is certainly hot. <laughs> I'm gonna keep repeating that, but it's Texas. So like, it's not like I didn't sign up for this. I was very aware. Um, I guess it's not as hot as California because California is currently on fire, but California is pretty much always on fire, so. All right, wow. Okay, Charlotte's really liking the water. I should have brought her bowl thing. I'm wasting so much. I'm watering the alligator. All right, girl. Well, I don't want to go through both of my bottles too quickly, so I guess we will uh, hold on to the other one for when we get back. We're not going to go too much further. Like I said, I don't want to kill my dog, um, even though I have water on hand. Just there's no way to know if I'm putting her in a little bit too much heat. When I originally got her, she was from upstate New York, so she was in like feet of snow. So it's been a while and she was very young, but I still brought her down to like one of the hottest states. Whew. So yeah, 
things are good. At some point I'll do an apartment tour and uh, I'll be careful about that so that I don't get doxxed. And um, I'm working pretty hard between YouTube, which I'm trying to ramp up, and Valor, which I am 100% ramping up. This is probably like the most work I've done in my life. I wake up and right off the bat, it's just going. Uh, the type of work I'm doing is switching. So I wake up, I edit a video, I work on Valor, I edit a video, I stream, I work out, and then I sleep. That is my current schedule. You'll notice that there's no like leisure time in there, but uh, that's why we're out today because it's Saturday and I was like, that's, it's the weekend. I'm going to sleep in. I'm going to get some walk in with the dog. You may be wondering where Charlotte fits in this if I'm always working. I've gotten Charlotte into daycare. A little bit expensive, but you can help me by supporting me on Patreon or my channel or whatever. <laughs> It is, at this point, really um, me surviving pretty much on my own. Uh, which is a scary prospect. I mean, if the channel collapses, I could very well, you know, be in some bad, bad water. <laughs> because I'm 1,700 miles away from family, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, I'm kind of completely dependent on my own ability to, you know, motivate myself, keep the income coming in, and keeping the channel strong, because if I don't do that, well then it's game over. And game over isn't very fun, let me tell you. I don't want game over because I want to build up our empire. That is my goal. But it's hard, you know? when you wake up and nobody tells you you have to work or anything. There's no homework. You're not being graded. It's completely up to you. And uh, there's something exciting about that. And there's something fundamentally terrifying about that. You know, if you fail, there is only one person to blame. And that is you. Granted, I blamed myself for all of my shortcomings in the past, but now it's much more abundantly clear. You know, I have to make it work. I don't know how, but I will because I got to. So, there's your first little update from me in Texas. I actually have an old vlog from Connecticut during the winter that I never uploaded that I may go ahead and upload. Um, no, I'm not. It, it, it's going to be very obviously out of place. It's from the past, so don't be concerned about that. It's not snowing in Texas, not again. Not yet, I missed that, so. Thank you for watching Booper Vlogs, and I'll see you all next time.